Hey everyone, it's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily. In January, I travelled to China to film a documentary of Stiga about how China produces its many table tennis stars. Along the way, I picked up two new sheets of DHS Hurricane 8 from this awesome man in his DHS store in the centre of Beijing. In this review, we'll analyse in depth the Hurricane 8 on how it performs with the new plastic ball. Firstly, the Hurricane 8 has been developed with the new 40 plus plastic ball in mind. DHS Express, their new high density sponge technology, helps Hurricane 8 raise the elasticity by 15%, creating high speed on impact shots for the offensive player and has not used the previous Neo technology. The Hurricane 8 comes in two thicknesses, either 2.15mm or 2.2mm, with three sponge hardnesses of 39, 40 or 41 degrees. The sponge is very dense and compact, unlike tensor rubbers, which tend to be porous. The top sheet is very tacky, with the ball sticking to the sponge very quickly during the bounce test. If you see here in the comparison to Tenergy, the ball bounce is much higher. The sponge feels very hard when pressed and is definitely the hardest rubber we have reviewed so far. The rubber weighs 72 grams when uncut and comes in very nice packaging. In this review, I used the Stiga Carbonado 145 blade and a team of spirit with the Hurricane 8 on the forehand side. The Hurricane 8 on the bowl spirit has been boosted with two layers of Danchi oil. The rubber on the Carbonado has not been boosted. We wanted to see how the rubber performs both boosted and without. Myself and Tom put the Hurricane 8 rubber to the test and here is what we found. Initially, you can really feel the elasticity and responsiveness of the rubber during fine tot spins. The rubber felt very firm and therefore required slight technical adjustments for me having to play more upright than I am used to with European style rubbers. The rubber seemed to tackle the plastic ball very well and impressed me with the speed it was able to generate. As you can see here in the footage, I could generate a lot of speed with the boosted Hurricane 8 on the Team of Spirits. Spirit. The ball travelled quite a low arc with a fair amount of spin against a normal block ball. Using the Carbonado 145 blade with the unboosted Hurricane 8, I found I had a lot more control and stability during impact. The unboosted rubber was slower, however this increased control gave me far greater accuracy in my shots. One clear difference between the European rubbers and the Chinese rubbers is the technique you use. With a Chinese style rubber, it's really important to brush the ball to get the lift over the net. Sometimes the ball can fly out quite easily if you hit too flat on the ball, so it's really important when I top spin to how to get that good spin and upward technique into my shot. Like the rubbers from the previous Neo series, such as the Hurricane 3, we can keep the ball low over the net with great ease during short touches. The rubber's surface allowed us to control the ball well and send the ball back to the opponent with lots of spin. The rubber's advantages in the short game was very evident with the services. I could apply good spin on the ball and the rubber felt very engaged. When top spinning against backspin, I could produce a great deal of spin. The tacky top sheet really gripped the ball. Again, I had to have a more upward technique to compensate for the lower arc generated. I really liked how I could spin and play very strong on the fifth ball which is very important in today's offensive game. One of our favourite attributes of this rubber was how easy it was to play strong counter tot spins. The tacky rubber produced a very direct, powerful counter tot spin, which finished points outright on many occasions. When playing away from the table during topspin to topspin rallies, it definitely felt like more effort was needed to generate pace on the ball. Using the Carbonado with the unboosted Hurricane 8 was actually better in this department due to the softer outer wood, which gave us greater control and dwell during maximum effort shots. Here are some points taken for match play. We really liked the fact that when we were out of position, we could pick up the low balls well due to the grip of the top sheet.
TTD conclusion. To conclude, the Hurricane 8 certainly has the built-in catapult effect needed for the new plastic ball that DHS claims. The tacky top sheet helps greatly on low incoming balls, which give you great control when out of position. If you're a player who likes to play close to the table, this rubber is very effective because its low trajectory and direct nature means the ball reaches the other side of the table quickly and with a lot of speed. This also means when playing aggressive close range shots, such as flicks and counter tot spins, you can put your opponent under great pressure early on in the point. Should you boost this rubber? I think this question comes down to individual preference. Personally, I would not boost the Hurricane 8 as I feel I can get quite a lot of speed as it is with the rubber and I can get a lot more control in my forehand from mid distance and away from the table. However, boosting will help soften the sponge and make it more springy and elastic, which will help on harder blades. Overall, the Hurricane 8 works very well with the plastic ball. The hard sponge and top sheet propels the ball with great catapult effect and a medium to low arc with lots of spin can cause problems for your opponent. This is a typical tacky Chinese rubber that has been researched with the plastic ball in mind. DHS have adapted very well. Be sure to check out the new Equipment Review Centre on the Table Tennis Daily website by clicking the link below where you can review and browse all the latest table tennis products. Thanks for watching.